in diabetes insipidus diabetes means excess urination while insipidus means tasteless so diabetes insipidus is the production of large amount of tasteless urine this distinguishes it from diabetes mellitus which means production of large amount of sweet urine in both diabetes insipidus and syndrome of inappropriate antidiuretic hormone there is involvement of this hormone known as antidiuretic hormone adh also known as vasopressin adh is the primary hormone responsible for tonicity homeostasis which means maintaining a stable state of internal environment with respect to water and fluid balance adh perform this function by two mechanisms one is that adh is a powerful vasoconstrictor substance of our body during the time of fluid loss for example severe hemorrhage or dehydration high amount of circulating adh can cause enough vasoconstriction to bring arterial pressure back to normal the second major function of adh that is also our main focus is that it greatly increases renal water reabsorption especially from distal convoluted tubule collecting tubule and collecting duct from tubule back into the blood and therefore it helps to conserve body fluid volume during the time of fluid loss or dehydration antidiuretic hormone is produced in hypothalamus primarily in supraoptic nuclei of hypothalamus from here it is transported down to the posterior pituitary gland where it is stored and secreted into the blood stream when needed there are some modified neuron receptors known as osmoreceptors during the period of water deficit like dehydration or fluid loss high blood osmolarity stimulate these osmoreceptors these stimulated osmoreceptors send nerve signals to supraoptic nuclei to produce additional adh and also relay these signals down to the posterior pituitary gland to secrete adh into blood stream from blood adh is transported to kidneys in renal nephron adh increases water permeability as i have already mentioned in distal convoluted tubule collecting tubule and collecting duct to conserve body water the mechanism by which it does so is that adh binds to its specific v2 receptors v is for vasopressin v2 receptor is a g protein coupled receptor adh attachment stimulate g protein that activates adenylate cyclase and stimulate the formation of cyclic amp which in turn activate protein kinase a and phosphorylate the intracellular protein this is the common mechanism of action of any g protein coupled receptor that are present anywhere in our body there are small intracellular protein molecules that are called aquaporin 2 the phosphorylated protein stimulate the movement of aquaporin 2 molecules toward the luminal cell membrane aquaporin 2 molecules fuse with cell membrane by exocytosis to form water channels these water channels permit rapid diffusion of water into the cell from tubular lumen The basolateral side of cell membrane has aquaporin 3 and aquaporin 4 that permit water flow out of the cell back into the blood. These aquaporin 3 and aquaporin 4 are believed not to be regulated by antidiuretic hormone. This whole mechanism conserve body fluid volume by increasing water reabsorption. and excrete small volume of concentrated urine during the period of water deficit while sodium and other solutes continue to be excreted in urine 
so the initial hyperosmolar state is now corrected that send an inhibitory signal to osmoreceptors to stop the secretion of adh now coming back to diabetes insipidus in diabetes insipidus there is either decrease in production and release of adh categorized as central diabetes insipidus or there is resistance to adh action that is known as nephrogenic diabetes insipidus the causes of central diabetes insipidus can be idiopathic or a brain injury that can be due to trauma hypoxic brain injury a tumor or any other infiltrative disease the treatment of central diabetes insipidus is administration of desmopressin which is a synthetic analog of adh it can be given orally or by injection or as nasal spray the other type of uh, diabetes insipidus in which there is renal resistance to adh action known as nephrogenic diabetes insipidus it can be caused by hereditary adh receptor mutation or it can be caused by drugs for example lithium lithium is used to treat maniac depressive disorders or it can be caused by hypokalemia or any other infiltrative disease of kidney the treatment of nephrogenic diabetes insipidus is first of all to manage the underlying cause and to give low sodium diet is thiazide diuretics it's a bit tricky to understand thiazide diuretics induce volume depletion in proximal portion of nephron causing less fluid flow to adh sensitive distal portion of nephron this action pre prevent excess volume loss in distal portion of nephron as already less fluid is reaching there because of low levels or resistance for adh the distal segment of renal nephron cannot reabsorb water that result in excessive water loss in urine excessive loss of water from the body makes blood plasma highly concentrated this hyperosmolar state activate the thirst mechanism so as long as the person drinks enough water it will compensate for fluid loss but if fluid intake is restricted then severe dehydration can rapidly occur from this whole discussion the characteristic symptoms of diabetes insipidus turn out to be polyuria that is excessive dilute urination and polydipsia that is excessive thirst then comes syndrome of inappropriate antidiuretic hormone siadh in which there is high levels of adh in blood high levels of circulating adh causes excessive water reabsorption in distal portion of nephron via aquaporins and production of very small amount of concentrated urine this result in water retention in the body and low serum osmolarity siadh can be caused by head trauma or ectopic adh release the best example is small cell lung carcinoma and some drugs for example selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors the ultimate treatment for siadh is the administration of adh antagonists such as conimeptan tolvaptan and demiclocycline the first line of treatment for siadh is fluid restriction you can also give salt tablets to compensate hyponatremia caused by water retention